Today I want to show you how to use your smartphone as a camera monitor. Let's do this. Hey, my name is Roma and on this channel I talk about cameras and camera accessories. If you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe for future videos. Before I'm gonna start this video, let me just tell you something. This is a solution for Android smartphones. I'm using an Android smartphone. I don't know if it works with Apple devices. So please, if you are using an Apple device, go to another video because I don't know if it works with an Apple device. Now, what would you need to connect your smartphone to your camera and use it as a camera monitor? First of all, obviously you would need a smartphone. In my case, I'm using a cheap Chinese smartphone for just $100. If you are wondering about the model, this is the Huawei Y7. Then you would need a mini USB cable to connect to your camera and then from your camera to your smartphone. In order to connect the mini USB cable to your smartphone, you would also need an OTG adapter. Pretty much every Android device these days at least comes with OTG adapter. If you don't have an OTG adapter, I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can go and purchase it. It's around 50 cents to one dollar, it's pretty cheap but very very useful. And then the last thing that you would need is application called DSLR controller. I'm gonna leave some links down below so you can go and download the application. Highly recommend this application, works really wonderful. Now let's start setting everything up. Take your smartphone, connect the OTG adapter to your smartphone, then connect the mini USB cable to the OTG adapter that's connected to your smartphone and then connect that mini USB cable to your camera. After you connected all that and made sure that everything is connected properly, the application should launch automatically by itself, even if your smartphone is sleeping. I really like this feature about this application because you don't need to open your smartphone, go to the application, open it, and only then use the application. It launches automatically as soon as you connect the cable to your camera and the cable is connected to your smartphone. It's really, really great. After that, the application would open up and then pretty much you can use your smartphone as a camera monitor. In this application, you have a lot of cool features which I really appreciate. You have audio monitoring, you have exposure monitoring, a white balance monitoring, you can also flip the screen if you want, you can expand the live view to full screen, you can do a bunch of stuff with this application, it gives you a lot of control on your camera and I really, really like it. And that's pretty much it. Now, if something is not working for you, make sure that all the cables are connected properly to your camera and to your smartphone. And another thing is go to the application manual and see if your camera is supported in the supported cameras of this application. In my case, I'm using the Canon 77D, which is a pretty new camera, it's only one year old, and it works completely fine without any issues. So this is how you connect your smartphone to your camera and use it as a camera monitor. If you have some questions, comments, let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.